muck diving, the search for rare and unusual critters in the sands or in the seagrass. <laughs> How's it going everybody? This is a very unusual fish and I believe I've only ever seen it three times. And all of these three times actually on Negos Island in the Philippines like this guys. And there is actually not just a single Ambon scorpion fish but I saw a couple. Now what is this? It looks like a ball of seaweed. So it's a supremely camouflaged fish. So all these appendages, all these tassels on the fins and on the skin of this fish serve to hide it, hide it from the eyes, not of scuba divers, but of predators. So here you can see these appendages growing on the head around the mouth of this fish and it's really it's not that small these two were about the size of a fist but they're extremely hard to find they're extremely hard to see so here you can see the other one in the background i'm pretty sure that this was a mated pair male and female and what an amazing achievement of evolution to produce a fish which looks like a ball of algae. So this is a different fish of course. This is a flathead or sometimes also called crocodile fish. In the sandy areas in which I am diving these days these seem to be close to the apex predators at night, so they're, they're dug in. Very often they're really only the eyes looking out of the sand, and they are lie in wait predators, so they're awaiting for smaller fish to come by, and then they will snatch them up and they will have a meal. So very big eyes, and you can see how the eyes are moving, so obviously when you approach this fish with a, a video light you're messing with their sensory ecology but nevertheless this is the kind of situation we usually find these fish they're buried in the sand and they are looking out for something like a cardinal fish there is another lie in wait predator this is a snaky so these are actually rather large fishes, but there's really only ever the head sticking out of the sand of these. Very curious nostrils if you look at them. Now, what is this? I believe this is some kind of lizard fish and it hit immediately. We also saw a lot of interesting crab persons during the last couple of dives. Now this is, I believe, a blue swimmer crab in the seagrass, a threatening animal, definitely didn't come very close. Here we have a dwarf lionfish. This one is eye to eye with this cardinal fish approaching it. This is not the species which is invasive in the Caribbean. Now this is another very strange crab person here, highly camouflaged. I'm still trying to get a proper ID for this one. Okay, there have to be gobies. A, one of these difficult to identify brown molded spotted small gobies in the sand. Ah, this was highly curiously, this one was active at night. Normally, the activity of these gobies is really uh, during the day. Now, lots of juvenile fish during the muck diving. And this is, a, I believe, a sole. Again, very excellent camouflage. Look at the patterns here. Very interesting also, a moreel. This was during a dive during the day. Normally, they hide in cracks and crevices but this one was out in the sand i think it was probably hunting well when it saw me it decided to hide a different eel i believe this is a conga eel and we saw this one at night now 
there will always be some kind of disturbance when you're observing nature. So if you are just simply taking a walk in the forest, the birds will react to you. And you know, they might fly a little bit away or they might adjust the position on the trees around you. Same thing, of course, when you're diving, and particularly when you're diving at night with a video light. So it's unavoidable that you confuse some animals. So this fish seem to be looking for a spot where it could get away from video, video light, but then it seemed to be excited by a lot of the small crustaceans which the video light was attracting. So eventually it decided to hide in the seagrass. Now, what else did we see during this muck dive? La a large mollusk, I believe this is a sea hare, this was just in a couple of meters of water, very striking red in this one. Also, we saw the striped e catfish. Actually, a couple of months ago, I made a video dedicated to this fish as well with my friend and colleague Abner Bukol and Abner was explaining how dangerous these actually are. So they have these spines and if you get stung by these spines you're not going to perish but it's definitely a really really unpleasant experience and then you know, there are always these factors like anaphylactic shock, which can get you once you have been in, injected with a venom by fish like this striped eel catfish. They usually live in these schools. These are very old schools. They're essentially one big ball of fish. There's barely any space between them and they're foraging for food as groups. And yeah, their venoms make them really safe, curious fish. Finally, this was at the end of yet another great muck dive. And these are small schooling fish. Admittedly, I have not managed to ID the species, which is very hard with these small silvery fishes. And I filmed them with 240 frames per second and then I slowed them down. So really nice how you can see the undulating motion of these small fishes. I hope you enjoyed this. Please support the channel by liking this, commenting, subscribing, sharing it on your social media and see you in a couple of days.